the link. Obviously, you just ordered something from me, and I put this video together for you to help you out mainly with your shipping. Uh, I do get a lot of questions from people about uh, do they have a tracking number? Uh, can I send them the tracking number? Uh, has it been shipped? When should I expect it? And believe it or not, actually all of this information is here on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is actually supposed to send you out an email. I don't necessarily know if it goes out all the time. I've only ordered a few things through here, but I do know that um, there is an email that's supposed to go out and it's supposed to have all the tracking information that you need. Now obviously, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails a day, so this is something that can get lost in the shuffle. So that's why we have this video here. All right, let, so let's go over this real quick. So here's Marketplace. Now, Facebook has been updating Marketplace over the last four or five months, and you may not exactly have this look to it, as of December 2020, this is probably the most recent look to what they've done for Marketplace. Um, but again, it should be pretty similar what I'm about to show you. All right, so you wanna do is you wanna click on your account. Now I have a seller's account, uh, so these are some of the things that we are selling. We, um, we also sell overstock items off of pallets, so I have a lot of items that I'll ship, or that I don't ship, that I actually sell locally. Here's one of our other items that we're shipping now but this is not an advertising about my business right now. I do want to just want to show you what we have here though. All right, so what you want to do is, these are more relevant for the business that I have with uh, regards to my listings that I have, my shipped orders, and my sales. What you're more uh, interested in is the purchased ordered section here. Now, if you do have the older version or if you do not see all of this, uh, I believe down here you will see a more recent activity or recent activity section and that should actually have your most recent purchase that you've made. Uh, but for now, uh, why don't we go ahead and click on purchased orders. As you can see, um, I've only actually bought two things via Facebook to have them shipped to me, so I don't have a whole lot to show here, but I will show you what happens here. Okay, good. So now this was delivered. I just actually got this yesterday, so we have a, a good data when this was uh, created. Uh, UPS tracking number is stated right here, so you can actually just uh, copy this here. Now everything I send out is going to be through the U.S. Postal Service, so the tracking number will be here as well, um, just to basically to clarify that. And usually what I do is I just go into Google, I type in USPS space tracking in Google, and it'll come up with a, um, uh, a little GUI that you can use on the page. You can just put in the tracking number and hit track, and it'll take you to the information to be tracked. So what this means here, though, I want to go over this a little bit. Um, Orders confirmed, that means that the uh, seller has uh, printed off your shipping label, which then creates your tracking number. Um, shipped or in transit, which is more of what you're going to see on your side. In transit means that the post office has picked it up. It's either been dropped off at the post office. In my case, we actually have the postman pick it up at the house, and then he scans it. Uh, obviously, out for delivery and delivered are pretty kind of, that's all your, you know, that's everything right there for you. Other thing too is that if you do receive the product and you're not happy about it um, and you want a refund, you do have the right through pay, um, I'm sorry, through Facebook to take care of a refund. And I think they give you a certain amount of time to do this. Um, I'm not really too, you know, you have your purchase protection plan, I think is what they call it. Uh, you can contact uh, me for information. Um, you can also make a claim with Facebook. It gives you this amount of time to take care of that. Uh, and what happens is Facebook actually takes care of the refund if there is something wrong with the product. You can reach out to me. I have had situations where uh, the products I sell get destroyed in the mail. I mean, I literally had one product that was completely shredded apart. I have no idea what happened. But I think we've sent out almost 700 items and we've only had three that have ever showed up damaged to anyone. So normally this is not a problem. But... Just so you know your rights, you do have the right to reach out to me. Usually I'm just going to tell you to open up a claim with Facebook and handle it through them, mainly because they're actually the seller in this. I'm basically supplying the uh, product to sell, but that does not mean that I won't take some responsibility for it as well. All right, great. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, obviously, if you're seeing it, it should be on, on YouTube. If you like the video, please go ahead and like it, and uh, maybe we'll do some more videos about how to use Facebook better because they really suck at telling you how to use it.